Okay, so here we are again in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you how to set up surround sound, whether you want to do a 5.1, a 7.1, if you want to go Dolby Atmos 7.1.2 or above. This is how you do it. So first, you need to go in your settings. You need to check on Fairlight. And you need to enable at least Dolby Atmos. You know, if you want to do Aurora 3D, you can enable as many of these as you like uh, then save it next what you want to do is you want to go up to the top to DaVinci Resolve and go to preferences you want to go down to video and audio and you want to make sure you have your setup so I have my setup on a 7.1.2 setup that's what my setup is here in Sound Design Central and you want to just make sure that it's set to manual you set up your device that you're using to capture uh, sound and output sound and then again put in the type of Dolby Atmos system you want to run so the seven mean you having seven surround speakers the one one sub and then my two I have two overhead speakers to give me that Dolby Atmos all around you sound and then you just want to go in there and set up the speakers the way you have have them lined up on your device um, so your left your right your center your sub is your, your LFE um, and then the rest of your surrounds and your top surrounds once you set that up just save it and then you come in here to to DaVinci Resolve so in your edit page or even in your um, Fairlight page I have a couple of different sound samples here uh, ambient sound so right now because I'm doing some work on our Black Wall Street project uh, we're gonna be releasing an extended version of it coming soon um, I have some 1920s ambient sound here uh, and I'll let you hear what that sounds like Okay, so that's just a little bit of the ambient sound. Now, one of the things that you'll need to do when you're in here, whether you're here or Fairlight. So if we go over to the Fairlight page, and let's say I change my track type. I change my track type. You do that by right clicking on, on the track. Not the audio, but the track itself. Let's say I change it to a 7.1.2, right? Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of little bars, and the two green ones are solely on these top two. And that's my left and right. That's my stereo output. So in order to get it to go all the way around in all of the speakers, if I want it to go in all the speakers, I would right-click on the audio, Come down to clip, clip attributes, and here's where you get to change your audio up. So now I can come in here, go to a 7.1.2 setup, and now I get to select the speakers in which I want this to play. So the way that I would do this ambient sound to give a more all-around sound, I'd skip the center channel, I'd skip the lo-fi channel, and I'd go to my surround, and I'm just making my surround fields stereo. Now, this, I would not put any sound in my top speakers just because this ambient noise is mainly like from the street, so it's not really overhead things. And so, again, what I would do is then click OK, and now you can see it's, it's filled all of the channels, uh, but only the channels that I want are filled now another thing that i need to do is i need to go up to fairlight 
go to bus format and I need to change my output to the output in which I want which I'm doing Dolby Atmos 7.1.2 so now I've changed it to 7.1.2 I can add another bus and if I let's say I want to do a 5.1 then I can add a 5.1 I can add another bus and do a stereo out so then whenever I go to export I can take all three of these and my one file will have all three of these and depending on the system in which you play this it will play it back in whichever one works so if you have a 5.1 at home when you play it back it'll play back in 5.1 if you only have stereo like you listen on your phone it'll play back in stereo so click OK now when I hit play you will then see up here on my, my bus one you'll see the channels in which it's in same as over here and down here as well let me pull this out just a bit you'll see the channels that I have muted won't play and the channels that I do have open that I have it turned on they will play so take a look That just gives for a more immersive sound. So that's how you set up surround sound in uh, DaVinci Resolve. Again, you can play around with these settings in here. So if you only want something in the back right corner, then you can turn off everything else, mute all things, and only have that right uh, rear surround on. and you'd only get sound in that one spot. And I'll show you the place there. So there you have it. That is how you set up surround in DaVinci Resolve. The last thing that you need to do is you come over to delivery. And if this is something that you want to export, you give it a name. Of course, you pick a location. And then what you do is you'll come over to audio and you'd select the different audio timelines you want to output. So if I want to add another one, and I can change it to my bus three, which is my 5.1, and then I can add another one, and it'll be my stereo bus. And all this comes out it's one track and then once I export it all of this is attached to that one audio not one audio but to that one video file all of these formats are there so again this is a way that you can uh, del get your deliveries output it and yeah so if you have any questions about Anything else dealing with setting up your surround, uh, leave me uh, questions in, in, in comments below. Um, I'd love to, to interact with you, but hopefully this video is helpful. We'll see you guys next week with another video.